Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Everything or Nothing. Now, last week we had our first winner on Everything or Nothing season two. Now, let's see on this show if we have another winner who goes home with everything or nothing. And now, before I start, here are the rules. The rules of the game. First, the luck and wit round. The contestants will answer a multiple choice general knowledge question. If they get the question right, they go to the guessing wall where their luck will be tested. The first card will be revealed to them and the rest they have to guess. At the guessing wall, contestants will have to complete their row of cards one at a time by guessing if the next card in the series is higher or lower than the previous number on the card. Now let's find out who are the contestants on this show. Who do we have here? Um, I'm Azhar Ahmed, I'm 11 and I live in Barking. Excellent, Azhar. Uh, which school do you go to? Barking Abbey School. Excellent. Well, welcome to Everything or Nothing. All the best and... Um, I'm Safwan Sharif, I'm 9 years old and I come from Yatsu. Brilliant. And which school do you go to? Gears Primary School. Excellent. Welcome to Everything or Nothing. And your name? Uh, my name is Rayan Sharif. I'm 10 years old and I live in Gantz Hill. Excellent. And um, <coughs> which school do you go to? Gary's Primary School. Brilliant. Welcome to Everything or Nothing. And who do we have here? Uh, my name is Afif and I'm nearly 11 and um, I live in Upton Park. Excellent. And which school do you go to? Redlands Primary. Fantastic. Now, have you guys seen uh, Everything or Nothing on television before? Yeah, I've seen it. Okay, you've seen it. What about you? You haven't? Oh dear. You? You haven't either? Alright, um, well, you know, um, a lot of people cry on this show. A lot of young people, they, they cry on this show because it's so hard. So you guys um, ready for some crying? Yeah. No? Alright, we'll soon find out. Okay, now let's crack on. Okay, now, Azar, tell me, what is the national sport of Japan? What is the national sport of Japan? Is it A, archery, B, sumo wrestling, or C, karate? Um, karate. The national sport of Japan, you answered karate. I'm afraid you're wrong. It's, it's sumo wrestling. Sorry, Elsa. Okay, now. Safwan. Now tell me. Whose nose grows longer the more they lie? Is it A, Chicken Little, B, Pinocchio, or C, Goldilocks? B, Pinocchio. B, Pinocchio. Correct! Well done! Now, you're the guessing wall now. Your first card is six, and the next card, higher or lower? Higher. Higher. And it's higher. Well done. Excellent. Well, because your card is 15, so we don't have a card higher than 15. So if you, if you get the next answer correct, automatically I'll reveal the next card for you. Right. Rhea, what is the smallest breed of dog? Is it A, Poodle, B, Pug, or C, Chihuahua? Uh, B. Pug. The smallest breed of dog, you answered B, which is Pug. I'm afraid you are wrong. It's Chihuahua. Sorry. A fifth. You look worried. Yeah, I look worried. Why are you worried? I'm not sure. <laughs> okay. Uh, let's go. Well, um, your, your question is quite easy, actually. Oh. Now, let's see. Which country has the highest population of people in the world? It's really easy. Is it A, India? 
B, China, or C, Russia? China, B. <coughs> the highest population in the world? You answered B, China. And the answer is, I'm afraid, it is China, well done. Excellent. You're right. Right, your first card is a fifth number four. Next card, higher or lower? Higher. Higher. And let's see if it's higher. It's higher, yes, another 15. Excellent. Also, what is the name of the red car in the animated film Cars? Is it A, Mater, B, Lightning McQueen, or C, Jack Swagger? B. B, Lightning McQueen? Yeah. You are correct. Well done. Right, your first card, Azhar, is 12. Now, next card. Now, it's 1 to 15. Yeah? Yeah. So, is it higher or lower? Lower. Lower? It's... Ooh, dear. That's uh, unlucky. Now, Safon, do you have fish at home? Hmm? Do you have any fish at home? No. Fish tank or anything? Any pets? <coughs> no pets at all. Do you want to get a pet? Have you asked your mum and dad to, to get yourself a pet? Uh, Never? I did. What, what pet? A Dog, rabbit and cat, a cat. Cat? And a rabbit. And a rabbit. Well, both of them. No, like one or the other. One or the other. And what did your mum and dad say? None of them. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> uh, okay, do, do you want me to sort of talk to them and, and try to convince them? No. No? Okay. I, I, I'll, well, you said no, but I'll, I'll still do it. If you, if you get this question right, I'll talk to your mum and dad. I'll insist they get you a pet, okay? Now tell me, what type of fish is Nemo? Is it A, goldfish, B, clownfish, or C, catfish? Um, he's a clownfish. Clownfish. So, Fuan, you deserve a pet, definitely. You're correct. Well done. Now, the next card, you automatically, I will reveal it for you because your previous cards were 15, so automatically it's lower. So, there you go. How are you feeling so far? Fine. Okay. Ryan, who was the first American president? Is it A, Washington, B, Lincoln, C, Jefferson? Jefferson? The first American president, you answered Jefferson. The answer is, I'm afraid it's Washington, you're wrong. Sorry, Ryan. Fifth. God, but that look on the face. Oh, God, it's scaring me. <laughs> it's only a question. Nothing will happen if you get it wrong. Well, of course, you lose the game, but that's it. Okay. <laughs> All right, Afib. Who wrote the play Hamlet? Is it A, J.K. Rowling, B, Henry James, or C, William Shakespeare? C, William Shakespeare. Have you read Hamlet? Yeah. You've read Hamlet? Yeah. Uh, um, what do you think of, of, of Hamlet? I don't know. Okay. So, um, it seems like, a fifth that you've read well because you're correct. It is C. William Shakespeare. Well done. Now, since your last card was 15 automatically, I will turn the card around. It's three. Azhar, so far, You've um, you've only managed to get one card there, so um, we have Safwan on his third card. Um, Ryan, nothing. <laughs> and Afif um, is doing well as well. 
on, on third card. So, um, yeah, it, seem, it seems like that you really have to sort of, you know, you know, do something here. Yeah? Okay, now, Asa, tell me, who invented the light bulb? Is it A, Thomas Edison, Thomas Edison B, Nikola Tesla, or C, Bill Gates? Um, the A. A. Who invented the light bulb? You answered Thomas Edison. The answer is Thomas Edison. Hold well on. Correct. L -l 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 bigger smile will, you know, will be quite nice. You're not pleased? Um, I guessed it. You guessed it. <laughs> okay. Well, good guess. Now, next card, Azhar, higher or lower? Lower. Okay. Let's see if it's lower or higher. It's lower. Yes, well done. <laughs> Are you right? Yeah. Why, why are you looking at me like this for? <laughs> Don't worry, it's, it's quite easy. Your, your question is really easy. Okay? Now, Safon, tell me, who painted the ceiling of the Sistine Chapel? Is A, Leonardo da Vinci, B, Michelangelo, or C, Raphael? Um, Leonardo da Vinci. Who painted the ceiling of the Sistine Chapel? You answered Leonardo da Vinci. The answer is... Michelangelo. Sorry, sir. Ryan, you, um, how is your knowledge on, on the globe? Do, do you have a globe at home? Have you seen the world map? Yeah. Okay. Uh, are you familiar with the, with the oceans and seas? Uh, kind of. Okay. So how many, how many seas do we have? Seven. Okay. Right. Now, let's see if you get this answer right. What is the smallest ocean? What is the smallest ocean in the world? Is it A, Indian Ocean, B, Arctic Ocean, or C, Atlantic Ocean? I think it's A. Indian Ocean? Ryan, the smallest ocean in the world is actually B, Arctic Ocean. I'm sorry. A fifth. Oh dear God, no, 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 not, that, not that expression. Oh God, so scary. <laughs> Sorry, I'm okay, trying to hide my face. Look, I, I'm actually okay. promising you it's a very easy question I'm going to throw at you, okay? <laughs> Nothing to get tensed about. I was joking earlier that it's going to be harder now. I was actually kidding. Is okay, it helping? Yes. Yeah, Good. Helping. Now tell me, what are the female elephants called? What are the female elephants called? Is it A, cow, B, bull, or C, felephant? Felephant. <laughs> the female elephants are called, you answered, C, felephant. Because it sounds like elephant, am I right? <laughs> elephant, elephant, yeah, yeah. I, I would also, I would have probably picked that as well. But unfortunately, that's the wrong answer. It's a cow. Female elephant is actually called cow. Oh, sorry. Yeah, you, you can look worried now. <laughs> right. How's up? How good you how good is your knowledge on shapes? Rubbish. Oh really? So you don't need to worry about the next answer because most likely you're gonna get it wrong. Yeah. Yeah? yeah? Okay, let's see if you do get it wrong. How many sides are there to a pentagon? Is Five. Oh. 
Okay. I might as well give up this solo show and just, just, just walk out. <laughs> I have to go through the, the, the answers. Okay, would you, would you let me do that? Um, probably. All right, then. thank you. Thank you so much. Now, how many sites are there to a pentagon? Is it A5, B6, and C7? And you answered five, which is correct. Well done. Come on, guys, you deserve a clap. Come on. Thank you. Right, now we are there at the second card, which was two. Now, next card, higher or lower? Higher. Hmm? Higher. 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 higher.